Hello, welcome to Tarot Tuesday on the 29th of August 2023. After shuffling the pack 29 times, the card that came out was the sun. So we're going to look at the sun, we're going to look at some numerology, and we're also going to look at the August full moon. So let's start with the sun tarot card. It's a radiant outlook. The sun is a card filled with effervescent joy and boundless optimism. It takes centre stage this week. When encountering the sun in a reading, you're encountering a symbol of success, vitality and fulfilment. Picture a radiant sun shining down upon a child riding a rice horse, surrounded by flowers, and you have this wonderful sun card. This card is rich with symbolism. The child represents your innermost in- innocent self. The horse symbolises freedom, and the sunflowers indicate abundance and interconnectedness. So the sun card invites you to discover the wonder, the lightness of being, and the simple joys that make life magical. It tells you to celebrate every small or big victory and to shine with confidence. And as the sun dispels darkness and shadows, it offers clarity and lights to your path. Your world is illuminated, and so are the opportunities that lie ahead. There is no such thing as darkness, only an absence of light. And we look at the numerology, the power of the number eight. How do we get to that? So the August the 28th, 2023, breaking it down with the numerological significance is two plus nine plus eight plus two plus zero plus two plus three. Sounds complicated. Well, we get to 26. And when you further simplify that, it gets to the number eight. And in numerology, eight stands for abundance, power, and the karmic law of cause and effect. So this is this they amplifies your potential to turn your dreams into reality. It's a number that works harmoniously with the sun card to give you the boost you need to achieve your heart's desire. Your path is clear and the universe is aligning to support you in your endeavours. When we put on top of that the full moon in August, the sturgeon moon. Well, the mythical energies of the full moon in August, often known as the sturgeon moon, the full moon is the luminous culmination, the reflection and emotional release phase. It complements the sun's card's themes by asking you to turn inward, to understand your emotional and spiritual realms, while the sun and the number eight amplify your external world. The full moon works on the magic of your inner self. And it's a time to use this lunar energy to release any emotional or spiritual barriers, perform rituals or letting go, engage in meditation, or immerse yourself in some reflective solitude, but be kind to yourself. The full moon's light is there to balance, and there to balance out the exuberant light of the sun, offering a very holistic approach to your well-being. Now, how do you bring all of this together? How do we look at an inspirational look ahead, harmonising the energies for what I perceive to be a remarkable week? And as you journey through this week, consider yourself blessed by the celestial trifetica. The sun tarot card illuminates your external world. The number eight infuses it with the energy of limitless possibilities. And the full moon nurtures your inner landscape. By day, ride the wave of optimism and seize the opportunities with the zest of the sun card and the drive of the number eight. And by night, let the full moon guide you into more profound emotional and spiritual understanding. Together, these energies form a harmonious dance between light and shadow, action and reflection, external achievements and inner peace. This week, the cosmos isn't just shining upon you, but within you. Step into this week as a co-creator with the universe, balancing the gifts of the sun and the moon and leveraging the power of the number eight. Take this incredible opportunity to harmonize all areas of your life, for this week promises success and soulful enrichment. But go forward with that courage and heart that will make this week a masterpiece of lived experiences. The universe is not just a spectator in your life's journey. It's a willing and benevolent partner. Embrace his gifts and shine your light inside and out. Whatever you're doing, have a wonderful week. As always, be love and give love. Take care. God bless.